In this video, we'll look at how to create a flexible dense module. In the previous video, we looked at uh, when we created the class dense, we explicitly specified the input in feature as well as the out feature to define the shape of the uh, W matrix. However, in this particular case, what we are going to do is we are going to use the dimensions for from X to decide the dimensions of W. We will only specify the uh, values for the out feature. So let's get started. Here uh, we'll first import TensorFlow as TF, and then we'll uh, write start writing the flexible dense module. So class flexible again. This particular code is directly from the docs, and I'm typing it here out and trying to explain what each line of the code does flexible dense module df.module and within this we have the init method so init and we specify self self and then we specify name is equal to none and inside of this we we can add the super we need to add the super which is what generates the properties from tf.module and then we have name is equal to name and here what we will do that is different is we'll declare a variable is built is equal to set its value to false and if it's not built then we'll assign if w is not if w does not already exist we'll initialize it the first time and then we'll reset and then we'll set the value of is built to true now we can declare the out feature is equal to out feature and we can add that up here out underscore feature remember previously uh, we had in feature as well so uh, that's the difference that we have now after this we can define the call method df is equal to underscore underscore call and inside of this we have the self and the x and now what we are going to do is write an if statement so if is if self dot is underscore built is equal to false then execute this block which is self dot w is equal to tf dot vari variable and then we have tf dot random dot normal and we are going to set the shape by using the shape of x dot shape and that is the number of input features and followed by out feature out feature and let's put a s out features instead of just one out features and outside of this then we have outside of the normal we have name is equal to w so that's one i wonder why we have the squiggly line here input features we just copy and paste it here okay we'll we'll figure it that out so now let's look at self dot b is equal to tf dot variable and here we have tf dot zeros and then inside of this we are going to use out underscore features features and again we can specify the name is equal to b and once we have this we can now calculate the value for y and before we do that we need to set self dot is underscore built to true and so that we because we already have now set the values uh, shape of w next we have y y is equal to tf dot matrix multiply x with self dot w and then add the self dot b to it and finally before returning we are going to put that through 
the ReLU function right here. So that's our flexible dense module. And uh, now we'll move on to write the next part, which is, oh, uh, so this is squiggly line still because we haven't put the self in front of it. So this has to be self dot out features and this should be self dot out features. Okay, so that should work. Next, we need to create our sequential model. So class sequential module and this again uses tf dot module and now what we are going to do is create the same df in it and here we are going to specify self and name is equal to none and inside of this we have super again dot in it and inside of this we have name is equal to name and once we have this written we can now declare self dot dense one so that's going to be our dense one layer uh, self self dot dense underscore one is equal to uh, flexible flexible dense module and that's what we have up above and this is simply going to take out features and because we uh, because we are going to be setting the shapes based on x itself the out features and and we can set this value to three next we can write the next layer self 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 dot dense two and here we have flexible dense module and we can set the out features here to two now we can write the method call underscore underscore call underscore underscore self and we can pass in the value of x and inside of this we can use that a self dot dense underscore one and input value of x and then we can return the value that's from the layer two that's dense underscore two again takes in the input x now with this model created we can use it my underscore model is equal to sequence sequential module name is equal to let's give it a name flexible uh, flexible and then we can look at the output so output print output and here then we can specify the line my underscore model and we can use the tensorflow tf dot constant constant and this is going to be the same values that we used last time we have 2.0 three times and when we run this in the output we get an error which is name error uh name error output underscore features is not defined and that is up here so let's go back up output under for features is not defined out underscore feature is not defined out underscore features is not defined and that's inside of this oh that's because we do not have the self written there but i think we do have let's run this again okay so uh, we are good so this is the output we have and again we can uh, write the, the same or we can get the sub module so my underscore model dot sub modules and we can get the uh, flexible dense module that we have used and my underscore module model dot variables we can get the variables that we had used and as you can see the our w matrix was had uh, shape was determined from the number of features we, we had in the input x 
so that was it for this video i hope this video also gave you some additional information on how to create custom modules uh, using uh, without spe specifying the size for w and using the shape of x to to determine the size of the w if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video thank you